No, can't see any. I'm just on the path over there, it'd be worth having a look. You might get scratched. So the next place we go will be Wheel Park okay. and we'll have a look. Um, we could park at the back end of Wheel Park and walk in. Um, be, be a 20 minute walk to get to the... It's all right, isn't it? Might see something on the way. Probably see some deer. So just along here, between here and the end of that, that little copse there, is a good place for St George's. Maybe even on the other side. In fact, I found a morion in there last year, like a morel mushroom. And then I'll show you the, um, the raspberry canes. There's three places I know where raspberries grow. Just have a look in, right in, in there. Some very good patches of St George's growing in amongst all these cleavers. Look, they're all tangled up. You know they used to use these cleavers to make baskets? Like your, Did they? Your basket. You can you can make a foraging basket out of them. I've never seen I've never seen a flower growing on the cleaver before. Um, I know they use nettles to make garments, particularly Himalayan nettles, because I did a clothing conference at the University of Middlesex once, and this lady, by the end of it, she was wearing nettles and eating them as well. You make string, can't you, out of nettles? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Often see, particularly in the winter, you see herds of 20, 30 all together. Yeah, you're right, that one just keeps staring at us. Mm, there's some more over there. Hundreds. Bloody hell. I don't know where they cull them or mm. what. Yeah. They have to, I'm sure. Do you know the name of this tree? No, but it, it flows down into the lake. There's three different lakes on three different levels. Yeah. And this goes down into the first lake yeah, yeah, yeah. very soon. Oh, fancy. Wow. How wonderful. That was an unexpected. There's there's a herd of deer in a in encaged in in a, an enclosure yeah. up by the main entrance where the nature centre is, but obviously these are wild ones. And this is the water mint. All here. Have a smell. Oh yeah, I can smell it. Oh wow, it's gorgeous. Oh, Better over here actually. Oh dear, that's illegal. What? Picking the whole plant. Picking the leaves isn't illegal. You're not supposed to pick the whole plant. That's a nice, nice bit there. Gorgeous. And then here. And it's growing all the way here. Quite tall here. What a smell. That's a lovely smell. Hmm. Don't think there's any watercress here. I think this is another edible water plant which I've seen in... And you've got soft shoes on, haven't you? Oh, okay. I don't mind a boot full of water. Do the deer eat this stuff? Don't think they do. They just eat in the grass. Aren't they? If you pass the basket over, we'll just keep going in this direction. Okay. What else were we looking for? We've got to find wood sorrel. Wood sorrel. We'll go up this path here. Yeah. So we'll go around. But look at all the 
Look at all the mint here. This is all mint here, 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 here. But that's that's how it grows at Willis's. Yeah. Not the same type. Yeah. But it grows as a clump. Now this. This is very like. Let's nibble a bit. It's very like that stuff this guy gave me on Sunday called Detender. But it's not. It's a bit bitter, is it? It's all right. I don't know what it is. But that, there's, you can see more mint growing here, lighter colour. Yeah. And over there. Yeah. So it's pretty common. There go the deer. Lots of mushrooms in this part. Let's not disturb them too much. Big bird. You know, there's parrots in this park as well. There's quite a lot of parrots. Yeah. Or lor lorikeets or. Yeah. Yes. That's a massive bird. What are we talking about? 70, 80, given there's some over there. 